Hey fellow travelers, Matt from William Henry with another weekly dispatch behind the curtain at the William Henry studio. Um, hope you're well. This week it's about meteorite, which is one of the most remarkable materials on earth. Not of earth, but on earth. Uh, super rare, um, remarkable, and uh, we're thrilled that on occasion we're able to get some of this material and actually use it in our products. So I'm not a scientist, but I'll give you a brief backstory. Um, go back to the Big Bang, the formation of the universe. Um, uh, the molten core of these planets and these stars um, and these chunks of space debris from this original explosion is cooling and over a hundred million years or so that cooling process the metals in these cores actually cool and crystallize as they cool so rather than just cooling in a lump they cool with a kind of a crystalline almost a dendritic crystalline pattern <clears throat> now fast forward who knows how long and some of those chunks are now asteroids in the asteroid belt in our galaxy or elsewhere and those asteroids occasionally collide with each other and become smaller pieces now they're meteoroids um, or meteors as we like to describe them across the sky every now and then one of those chunks of space rock with that initial originally molten and now crystalline metal core makes its way to earth <clears throat> big enough that it doesn't burn up in the atmosphere and although they tend to fragment on impact, there are actually remnants of these, you know, literally from the formation of the galaxy all the way to now, going back to as much prehistory as we can conceive. So <clears throat> that's the background. And now there are chunks of this material occasionally found <laughs> on the planet, on Earth. And uh, a lot of the meteors, um, meteorites, uh, tend to end up in the ocean and this metal degrades over time. So we never get access to that. They have to make it onto land. Uh, there's only a handful that have been found. Uh, any estimates range anywhere between 11 and 60 separate impacts that have created these fragments. Of all of those, <clears throat> so far, there's really one that landed in Namibia in a town near Gibeon, and it's called the Gibeon Meteorite, that was big enough that it really yielded usable metal. And in the 1800s, um, uh, sort of Western explorers discovered metal implements being made in this region of Namibia, and they were using these meteorite fragments, which are largely iron, but there's some other stuff in them. The Gibeon meteorite's really interesting in that it has particularly high nickel content, which only means that it is meteorite that is relatively rust resistant compared to most meteorites that nickel add in that particular meteorite um, makes it more durable over time that's mostly what we've used when we can get it we're also playing with a material called monolista meteorite which is from sweden and we're always looking for other options um, but it's this beautiful crystalline metal it has natural inclusions and fissures it literally goes back to the birth of the cosmos birth of the universe um, and occasionally we're able to buy some of it. I started working with this stuff 20 years ago and uh, I could buy it by the ounce. Now you buy it by the gram, much the way you would buy gold or platinum. It has become that sought after and that rare. Obviously, it's um, you can't just open up another mine and hopefully find more of this metal. It, you have to actually find remnants of a meteorite that crashed to Earth and are still intact. Um, so it's remarkable stuff. It's really pricey. Um, and we use quite a lot of it because we're not just using a really thin veneer or a little cabochon or something. We're making an inlay for a money clip or a complete set of knife scales or various other applications. Big, you know, multiple inlays for bracelets and, and uh, pendants and what have you on jewelry. So anyhow, that's what little I know about it. It is beautiful stuff. We've just released 
another uh, a limited edition knife, a 50 piece limited edition that uses meteorite. However, it's going to take us the better part of 12 to 18 months to make those 50 pieces because we can't get that much meteorite at a time. So we've numbered it to 50 and in fact we've only been able to make the first 10 so far. Uh, but we do have some jewelry that features it. It's it's just gorgeous stuff. It It's one of those sort of one of those materials that speaks to our common ancestry and our common lineage and our, our tiny place in the cosmos. Um, and uh, it's a privilege to be able to use it. Uh, if you get a chance to check out our stuff, I hope you will um, with it. You'll find some other stuff out there because it's meteorite. It's a star fallen to earth. Who, who wouldn't want to be able to own a piece of that or make something with that? So uh, there you go. Just another one of those materials that blew my mind 20 years ago when I even found out it was possible that it existed, and that I could buy it, and that it was, in fact, if I got the right stuff, workable. And uh, uh, we do that to this day at William Henry when we can. So thanks. Have a great week.